All right, it's Saturday, July 23rd, 2022. I'm here at Santa Barbara Community College West Campus. So if you come to this next year, be sure to go to the West Campus and not to wherever the address actually sent you to because uh, that wasn't where the show was. So it took me a little while to find this one. Uh, there's a lot of great woodies here. Uh, like I said, this is the 22nd time they're doing it. It's 64 degrees currently, which is a nice break because it's very hot in Pasadena where I'm from. In fact, last week I filmed Glendale Cruise Night and my phone overheated because it was so hot. So definitely uh, not gonna overheat this time. Uh, so we're gonna go check out what cars are here and let's go right now. All right, so I'm gonna start over here since they haven't started playing music yet with this uh, 1950 Ford Woody. Usually if I get to a show before they start playing music, I hit the ones closest to the DJ tent. Oh, and there goes the music on cue. As I said, I had a feeling they were going to start playing music any second now. <laughs> so let's see a couple more like this 1940 uh, Woody coming in. Maybe look at this 49. So I will announce my stepfather is buying a classic car, which is kind of cool. And the car he is buying is a 1965 Volkswagen Beetle. So I'm sure that'll wind up on it. And it's like a car that was restored about 15, 20 years ago. And then unfortunately it's been sitting since 2010. This uh, Model A uh, hot rod, Woody. So like I said, he found it through word of mouth, which is amazing. He, I think he's getting an incredible deal on it. And it needs all the normal stuff that it needs when a car's been sitting. So I told him we would get it back to his place and that'd help him get it going. So hopefully he'll be going to shows with me with the uh, with that Beetle. Nice 46 Woody restored. This one's stock. Looks like it's got, he's got an armrest in the middle there. So there's that. I'm still working on the van. I got the uh, 74 Econoline tall top camper and still waiting on parts for that. And I do need to get the tank boiled on that one because the issue's a little crusty. There's this uh, 40 Deluxe Ford Woody. You look woody, it's got sort of like ghost flames. I just like to show the detail when it's not as obvious. I think they have other beachy type vehicles too. I saw a van rolling in earlier and I did see like a 42 door sedan and a uh, Pontiac Safari wagon, uh, which will be coming up. I saw those guys rolling up one on one. I guess that gas cost him an arm, maybe not a leg yet. There's a bright yellow uh, 40 Woody. We'll see, we are at what, 9160 something subscribers. So I am trying to get it up to, so you got the uh, old water transfer decals there. Uh, we're really getting a push to, I'm trying to get a push to get up to 10,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, really appreciate it if you do so. I don't know, it just looks cool. I think it'll look cool if I have over 10,000 subs. And next week, I will be hitting, I believe, the Hot Wheels show in El Segundo. There's a Hot Wheels Legends car show. It's either that or OPG is doing a show. Original Parts Group is doing a show down uh, on Seal Beach as well. But I don't think I can make both. 
And a couple of my friends said they're going to the uh, El Segundo show, so that's probably where I'm going to wind up at. So yeah, look at this uh, 36 Ford. The 39 uh, Woody. And the weekend after that is Pomona Swap Meet, so we'll be there. I'll be probably walking through the Volkswagen parts section. <laughs> for obvious reasons for my stepfather. So I gotta break out some of my Volkswagen stuff. I've got the socket for the uh, for the rear hubs. I think I have a couple manuals for it as well. So I used to have a 58, a 60, and a 70. Enjoy your show, buddy. Oh, thanks. French in antenna there. And the weekend after Pomona is Long Beach Swap Meet again, so we'll be doing that. Okay, look at this 51. Got all the surf stickers there. He's got another antenna, he's got twin antennas on the fenders. Those 51 Woody. So my daughter was actually supposed to come with me today and then she decided she didn't want to. And so... So now she likes the Woody wagons. In fact, my favorite car of hers is the Pacer with the fake wood wagon. So I just couldn't talk her into it, so. At least I could bring you this show. Well, it's not a Woody, but it's cool anyway. This uh, 57 Pontiac Star Chief. Looks like it's got uh, three two-barrel carburetors. So I passed this one in the Ford that's next to it on the way up here. Figured they had to be heading here. There's also a GT350 Shelby on a trailer that was beautiful, but I don't think they were heading here, but we'll see. So it's 40 Deluxe two door sedan. And yes, I still have the coupe. No, I don't know when I'm going to get to it. So I want to get the uh, Conaline on the road, the white one, and I'm probably going to sell that one. This one is for sale. Remember, swap meet rules. Anytime you see a phone number in a shot, remember, check the date of the video. 66 Morris Mini Cooper with the wood on it. <laughs> now I get this uh, show you the interior. The Chevy Ten Woody. It's like they've added like uh, maybe real wood to it. A very pretty uh, 47 Ford. I think they're just playing the monkeys today. Not that I like the monkeys though. The rest of this wood. I like the tan top on it. This one's uber rare. This is a uh, Ford Sportsman Woody. It's an extremely scarce car. The 40 Woody that's a bit of a hot rod.
It's actually a pair of Morse Minor uh, Travelers. It's kind of a British Woody. There's this uh, other Morse Minor 1000 Traveler. Okay. Woody. Can you, you, you can see the motor in this? Oh, they might. Have a look at the uh, engine on this uh, Morse Miner. Now, this guy just rolled in while I was filming the uh, Morris Miners. Another 40 uh, Woody. Wow. And he's got the louvers on the hood. Of course, the surfboard. Oh, my friend's list. Oh, thank yeah. you. I'll thank you about this bar. They're uh, 40 Woody. Oh, I'm thinking. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can see the We went to that cancer relay. Carolyn provided everything she knows where to stop. That's 50 Ford. There, Val and I went out and looked around. So we're riding around and then all of a sudden we go over here. Okay, so we checked them in Port Angeles. This 48 Plymouth Woody. I'm not trying to get a longer shot since it's been between songs. She likes the love. Yes. It's a nice 49 Ford Woody. They look complete with the uh, luggage back there. This 41 Ford. All right, we'll take a break from the show to give you a good look along the uh, cliffs here where the show is. Here in Santa Barbara. There's a bit of a custom uh, 1950 Plymouth. Another Woody convertible. This one's a 1948 Chrysler Town and Country. And believe it or not, my sister actually has one of these. <laughs> it's just sitting in her garage. And I need to get it out for her again. It's a nice uh, 47 Chevy Fleetmaster Woody. Not one you see very often. Yeah. Back there, there's too much of a crowd around this one. There's a town and country Tudor Hartow. This one's a 1950. We went to the show in town in Very nice black 38 Woody. Hot rod. Uh, they went with us to shop. So we had a nice dinner and she had the shrimp and rice and stuff. We got the side lights. Here's this uh, 1937 Chevy. 
We have the Hula Girl. Nice car. We've been upgraded. Chevy Power. Actually, I saw this car on the freeway on the way up here, too. So he drove from at, at least Agora, because that's where I saw him. You want to cruise there first? Just 51 with a uh, Chevy motor. Are you guys ready? Almost. All right. Just about. You said my car's the famous car. There's this uh, 48. Forty six, uh, Woody. Another uh, more Spiner Woody. This one's from the Murphy Museum. Right hand drive. God, who remembers the uh, Jimmy Z stickers from the uh, 80s? That's a throwback. Or I had a, I had a friend's mom who worked for that company. And she used to get us those stickers. <laughs> That's 53 Ford Woody. In these years they had wood, but they were just like tacked on to the side. So, wasn't like a full wood body. It was more like just wood bolted onto metal by then. There's a few cars perched up here on top of the hill, kind of like overlooking the uh, cliff, as you can see. It's a 1947 Fleetmaster. I actually have a surf band now, so that, that would have helped. <laughs> I know I probably would have got it a little later. I would have filmed her in the band since that's likely to get flagged for copyright. How about a PT Woody convertible? The chrome bumper. Remember they used to make these woody kits for the PT Cruiser. Alright, so thank you. Thank you. See you next year, right? It's a stock uh, Model A woody. Speaking of surf music, I don't know if I'm going to bring back the other channel. I had the uh, Vintage Records channel. I found a lot of great surf 45s from like the late 50s and 60s. But uh, I have a pretty nice collection, and so being in Southern California, I find a lot of surf garage and stuff like that. But I just haven't had time to do the record stuff. Hard to run two channels at once, that's for sure. Very cool uh, Mercury Woody. I'll tell you what, I've been getting a lot of good thumbnail shots. It's going to be hard to pick out a thumbnail picture for this one. So maybe I'll post the ones I don't use in the community tab. It's a lot of shows, like I get, I maybe get, I'm lucky if I get one picture that would work for a thumbnail. This one I think I've got quite a few. So 
I said, whichever ones I don't use, I'll definitely do a community post with because there's some great shots there. A very clean uh, 55 Nomad. Chevy pickup. Exactly what the show needed a van. Actually, we saw this uh, 68 Chevy uh, a few weeks ago in Camarillo at the National collector car appreciation day show Something very cool nicely built out with the uh, surf rack oh a model a pickup got that uh, shifter Nice this is 32 Roadster. And if you missed it, I actually filmed the uh, Roadster show. That old flathead there with the uh, two carburetors. Filmed the Roadster show, uh, what, about a month ago now? At Pomona. Lots of amazing Roadsters at that show, as usual. That one's been going on since the 50s. Very clean uh, C10 pickup, short bed variety. A little Studebaker or Lark station wagon. Mercedes ambulance. Not sure if he's leaving or what the deal is. I think he's leaving. A 56 Ford two or ranch wagon. This uh, late 70s Coupe de Ville. This one is Grandma Fresh. Check this out. Wow, for all the Malays guy. And of course, this is pre 4100. I believe this is pre, you know, 468. So we got a Thomas Cadillac badge from Thomas Cadillac. He used to be in downtown LA. But this uh, Nash bathtub. With the sliding rag top. A little pre AMC action. Nice Plymouth uh, station wagon. This one's got a early DeSoto Hemi in it. This 49 Ford. We have the flathead V8. Three carburetor setup.
And a giant 49 Ford sign in the window for some reason. Nice custom mark. <laughs> and the other one's probably got to get turned in over there. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Unless that guy can take it. I can say right now, I'll be down there. He'll just go in the trash. Pontiac Tin Woody. I guess we saw the uh, Chevrolet earlier in the video. Okay, two dollars. Five dollars There's a patinaed uh, Chevy Tin Woody. It's got a uh, modern, more modern steering column. I'm guessing it's been upgraded under the hood as well. This old 442, 1968. And so next week's that OPG show. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to that. I think I'm gonna do Hot Wheels. I actually need a spring for a GM parking brake. <laughs> Because the matter or the MC matter AMC used GM parking brake assemblies, and I need just like this little spring that goes in there. So I was actually going to go to that, but uh, we'll see. No, I'll just have to order it online. Look at this uh, rod. If you don't know about AMCs, they, they use parts from a lot of different manufacturers. Now it's got a Chrysler Torque Flight transmission. Not just. GM brakes, stuff like that. This is 56 Chev. Complete with a trailer. I bring a couple more of these woodies that showed up late. Look at this 49. There's actually a lot of cars that showed up late. And check out this 40 with the uh, matching wood trailer. And around this side. There's the rest of that 40. Actually, this one I rolled in while I was shooting the non woodies. I know I saw this Pontiac roll in late too. I think these might be the only few that rolled in late. So there's a old patina on it. Look on the inside. It's got all the old uh, water transfers. Okay, that's going to wrap things up here in Santa Barbara, California for the 22nd annual Woody's at the Beach for 2022. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 10,000 subs. I'm currently at 9169. I just checked on my phone. Uh, we're pushing to get to uh, 10,000. If you have a Gmail, if you have any kind of Google account, you can actually subscribe to the channel. I know a lot of guys watch on TV. You can also log in to your Google or Gmail or YouTube account on your uh, smart TV and subscribe that way. And it makes it easier to find my videos because it'll show up in your subscriptions tab. Uh, so that's kind of a, a neat little tip. 
Um, but like I said, we're really trying to push to get to 10,000. Uh, let me know what your favorite car was here. Uh, be sure to like the video as well. Uh, and I got a lot of other great events coming up for you. We're going to do the Hot Wheels show next week. Pomona after that. Long Beach after that. And then going into August, uh, I'm sure I have a lot of other good stuff that I'll find uh, that I'll be out filming. Uh, so and until next time, I'll be seeing you.